In this video, I'm going to guide you step by step how I created this search functionality both on front end in Next.js and back end, and that's again Next.js but using TRPC. And when we try to search, for example, this hunter and we write HUN and click search, we are getting the search parameter inside of our URL. So this link is later available to just copy and paste and to send to someone else the same search that you have. Let's start from the front end part first. So we have here our page, which is a client component. That's a bad way to write Next.js, but it is what it is. I'll turn it later to a server page. And we are getting our search parameter with our use search params hook. And that hook comes from next navigation. And from the search parameters, we are getting our page total items, that's for pagination. And here we are getting our search and we are getting it from our search keyword inside of our URL. So that's this one where we are here searching for our HUN. So here, if we console log this part, console log search and I save it, we are going to get HUN, which is inside of our URL here. And we are using that HUN search parameter by sending it to our query, which is our TRPC API endpoint where we are getting our users. Now I'm going to leave that for later. Let's just see first, how are we submitting our search? So we have here our handle search function and there we are getting the parameters from our URL search params. And what does this mean? So here we are getting all the current parameters and we are setting our search parameter to our current search, which is our state in our case in, here in this page. So in case that we have some kind of, let's delete this entire search. If we have some pagination, for example, so here we have page and total items. And now if I start typing HUN and I search, we are going to add that search to our pagination. So here in this function, the handle search, we are getting the parameters and here URL search params detected that we have our page and our total items and just search is added to our parameters that we already had. And we are just returning those parameters as string and let's see where are we using this. So here, on our search button, when we click, we are pushing our router to our path name, which is our local host admin or whatever it is here, it's admin slash users. And we are just adding all of our parameters from this handle search function. And if we here put console log params and click search again, we are going to get here size of three, which means that we have three parameters inside of our URL, which is correct. So that's page, total items and search. And in our case, we are setting only search and changing it to our current search, which is our state. And that state is inside of our input. So whatever we put here, we are just adding it to our URL here. And let's now delete this whole thing and go from the beginning so we can check out the backend function. So here now, if we search for, let's say this Paladin and we go to our TRPC endpoint, I'm going to remove this console log and we are going directly here into our TRPC users get. So this is our users router and here we have all the endpoints that are connected to our users. And we have our search parameter, which is nullable. So it means it's optional and it can be empty. And only if it exists, it's going to be used. And now here we have our logic for our pagination. I'm going to skip that. And here we have the first part where we are using our search and that's the total count. So again, we are returning total count only because of the pagination, but still we need to count all of our users and return them how many users exist with our HUN filter, for example. 
So we are adding here our where inside of our query and only if input search exists and that's if it's not empty, we are adding this I like user's email is like input search. And I like, if you don't know, that's just the case insensitive like. So if we send big letter age and then UN, we are still going to get our hunter no matter if those letters are small or big. And in case that our input search doesn't exist, we are just sending undefined. And that means that our where is just going to be skipped. And same thing for items here. So we have totally the same condition and we are using it in order to extract our users and get them by our input search filter. So this is just a simple query where we have our select from users and we are adding where only in case that our search filter exists. And now our search functionality is working as it should, but there is still only one bug left. And you probably seen it here when I use my pagination and I go to our page number two and then I write HUN and search. I'm getting an empty page and that's because we have only one user and we are still here on our page number two. And if I click previous, I'm going back to page one and total item seven, but I lost my search functionality. And that's because the pagination was created long before the search, search functionality. And we should use the exact same principle, principle like here in our handle search. So we should check what, which parameters we have inside of our URL and then only change the page and what's the next one, the total items. But now in our users table, we are just, I think, using the link. Yes, so we are just going to the admin users page, current page minus one, and that's the previous, uh, the, the previous page, but we should change this one and just create a new function and that function should work exactly the same like here in our handle search. And I'm going to create that one in one of my next videos. Just wanted to show you that I'm constantly improving our Orkish full stack admin. And now I'm going to push all these changes to a public GitHub repo and you have it in the description below as always. So check it out on my public GitHub repository.